Hello everyone and welcome to today's presentation. In this video we will show the process of identifying the inflection point in the given structural framework. Let me just zoom in here a bit as it's depicted here on this uh, figure. In this particular problem the flexural rigidity EI is presumed to remain constant for member AB and member uh, BC. And here at B it is assumed that we have a rigid uh, connection. The framework under consideration comprises a section of uh, 3 meters from A to B and 2.5 meters from B to C. Support at point A is fixed while at point C a roller support is present. Additionally, a horizontal distributed load with magnitude of Q, specified from the problem as 5 kN per meter, acts on member AB. Our approach to solving this problem will be parametric, enabling engineers to readily adapt the solution to variations in parameters such as distributed load or member length. We will substitute the given data into the solution to validate uh, its accuracy compared it against the results obtained through uh, finite element uh, method softwares. The force method will be employed to solve the problem parametrically in this video and we have chosen to release for this uh, case the bending moment at uh, support A. And then we will have case 0 and we will have case 1 for which we have to solve each uh, of them. Let us initiate the solution for uh, case uh, 0. So now as we have already uh, released one constraint which is the bending moment at support A, the structure becomes uh, statically determinate and by applying the uh, equilibrium equations we can find the support reactions. After that, the next step to be done is to find the bending moment functions. Then the bending moment functions can be determined by sectioning the beams at points of discontinuity. As we have done here, we have taken this uh, cut and we have taken this distant x from which we are able to find the bending moment functions. Next, the same thing, I decided to take uh, the cut uh, for this uh, from this side. Uh, the same thing can be done if we take the cut from the bottom side. The result at the end will be the same. Also, as a good uh, thing is that uh, we can uh, do some cross checks for our bending moment functions to make sure that everything is uh, correct as we have here. Now next, let's uh, proceed to case uh, one. And here also the same principle uh, is uh, applied. So we now see the structure is again statically determinate and by applying the equilibrium equations we can determine the support reactions as shown uh, here. Once again we do the same thing where we have to find the bending moment functions where we have discontinuity in the structure and these are going to be the bending moment functions when we have uh, applied that uh, one kilonewton meter bending moment at support A. By applying uh, the force method uh, we have the following equation and of course we know that uh, from the con uh, compatibility uh, this should be zero and then we can find uh, the redundant for which we are looking for which would be the bending moment at point A Here we have a table where we have the summary of results coming from each case Which are going to be the bending moment and these are going to be the boundaries where this uh, axis uh, as we can see this is going to be uh, L and uh, H so if we go to the beginning uh, we can see that this is going to be the H and this is going to be the L so this is just a good uh, way of writing things so we can have a better understanding and do not make any mistakes uh, while we calculate now uh, let's calculate uh, the unknowns uh, by taking the integral all over our frame through a b c and uh, as we can see we just have this uh, integral from 0 to L which is coming from case 0 times case 1 as you can see here and this is the same thing uh, for the other boundary conditions from 0 to h and this is actually what we uh, would get the same thing for the other variable then we can calculate for the uh, case uh, 1 the integrals by uh, multiplying uh, the bending moment by itself here as is going to be the virtual bending moment and then we would get this one and then to find the redundant which is going to be the bending moment at point a we already have the equation from this side and then we can find that this will be uh, the bending moment at point A parametrically, meaning that no matter what type of uh, variables we can change, we will always have the correct bending moment at point A. So now as it was given for us that the distributed load deck on member AB is 5 kN per square meters and H is 3 meters and L 2.5 meters, we can just substitute these values into the above formula and we uh, have that the bending moment at point A is going to be 16.63 kN meters. As we can see, the uh, sign 
for the redundant force which we found was positive and this means that uh, the assumed direction of the virtual bending moment of one kilonewton which we assumed if we go back if we, it, which we assumed at case one is counterclockwise and this means that for the real structure the same direction of the bending moment will be applied if we would have a negative sign this would mean that uh, we just uh, have assumed the virtual uh, bending moment which we applied on the case one to find uh, where the flexion point is located we need to find the bending moment functions for member a b and uh, after that after we have the function at least uh, since the support is six at a we would expect some quadratic functions and uh, to find the point where uh, this bending moment changes from positive value to negative value or to negative value to positive value in other cases uh, we can uh, just uh, equal that uh, equation with zero and then we can find the solutions of it there are uh, two ways to cut the section of the beam in order for us uh, to find this bending moment functions as you can see here this is case one where we can decide to take this uh, distance x from or to take this cut from this way or we can take this cut from the other way as you please but this is uh, some a good example for you to understand which way you should uh, select in order for you to have as much as easier hand calculations for the purpose of this exercise i will uh, solve it by taking this uh, distance x from uh, both sides so uh, we can see that we have the same uh, result no matter what is the what is the direction which we uh, which we uh, take and uh, to find uh, this uh, bending moment of function again we apply the principle of uh, force method and we can see that uh, this is going uh, if we take the sum of bending moments at this uh, cut section we so this is going to be the cut uh, section and then we can find again by using the force method uh, the equations uh, for this side so first if we take the cut section from this side as you can see uh, we need uh, to find also the support the reaction value a of x because this is creating bending moment here at the cut where we uh, induced it and uh, for that again we use the same principle uh, from uh, force method and we can see that uh, the uh, support reaction ax is going to have this value minus q times h parametrically and as we already uh, have been given that q is 5 km per meter and h is 3 meters we can see that the value of ax is going to be minus 15 kilonewtons and now we can take the sum of bending moments at uh, the cut equal to zero and then we can find this uh, bending moment and again always it's better if you do some cross check if you do uh, those uh, bending moment values at some uh, critical points of the structure and you can see that at uh, uh, x equal to zero the bending moment is 16.63 which is correct what we got from the force method before and the bending moment at h is going to be minus 5.87 which is something which we can check later on with the software in the end to find the point of the flexion now uh, we need uh, to evaluate this bending moment function equal to zero and then by simple math as we can see here we can uh, find the solutions to it as we can see we take two solutions which is going to be x 1.47 and 4.53 of course we are going to choose the values which is uh, the right one for us as the one which is 4.53 meters is going to be bigger than the length which we have for our structure which is not what we are looking for so the value or the inflection point is going to be at 1.47 meters if we take the section cut from the bottom to upwards and next let's check if we get the same result if we take the cut sections from the above this value x2 and the uh, same thing as before on the previous case we have to find the support reactions uh, a, uh, ax as it was creating bending moment here at the cut but now here also we have the support reaction which is causing a bending moment if we take the cut here therefore we need to find the value again by using the force method as before and as we have given the, the distributed load the h and the length we can uh, finally find the value of uh, support cy which is going to be 2.35 kilonewtons and the same thing here we do the bending moment functions again and we find this uh, bending moment function again we have to uh, equal this bending moment function of x equal to zero in order for us to find the solution which we are looking for and as you can see from solving mathematically this equation we would have that uh, we would get two solutions one positive and one negative and obviously we're going to go with the positive one and as you can see 
1.53 meters is the result which is going to be the correct one and uh, it's important uh, to remember that even though in the in this first case we got 1.47 it's important uh, to understand that this is 1.47 going from bottom to top so if we would have this 1.47 uh, here uh, at this point which means that the other part would be three meters as the whole length is going to be three meters minus this 1.47 which obviously would give us the answer of 1.53 as the point to which the flexion point would happen from the above part and last but not least let's just uh, quickly check uh, with uh, finite element software if our hand calculations are correct so basically uh, this uh, frame was modeled on a, a finite element method software also we apply the distributed load of five kilometers per square meters we have the length as it was given from the exercise three meters and 2.5 meters and uh, by checking uh, the uh, results we can see that uh, the place where the bending moment changes from positive to negative it's going to happen at x equal to 1.47 meters so uh what we calculated yes yeah, so in this case the software is showing the value from this point and going up to 1.47 which means that the other uh part is going to be 1.53 giving the whole length of uh, the member which is three meters and yes here is a small typo which should be at 1.5 uh, meters so this was uh, the example uh for today i really hope you enjoyed it and uh, it was helpful for you and before concluding we kindly consider giving this video a thumbs up subscribing if you haven't already and activating the notification bell to stay abreast of forthcoming content thank you for your time see you on the next video